Hey guys, it's Theros Probs here, and I wanted to make a quick video on explaining best as I can which is better, invisible bedrock, as in this stuff, or the new barrier block we just got in the 1.6 update of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. As a map maker, these both blocks are amazing in their both right ways, but I wanted to show some examples of why some they're better and one's not so better and vice versa you know you, you get what i mean it's a comparison kind of video so there's a couple of ways that you can use these things and yeah i'm just going to show you so i made a little testing area it's not that special i've just spent a bit of time you know working out things as a map maker you know you, you get the idea so first of all these blocks can be used um to have a bit of fun okay so as in what i mean by that is you can actually make like entities and items and stuff float that i don't know like an optical illusion in minecraft if you like um so we got floating chickens here okay now this side's all barriers um the only thing i don't like about the barriers it actually does the outline but again i guess that's good if you haven't got the block in your hand because otherwise if you've got it in your hand you can see um which is pretty cool i guess unlike the invisible bed rot you can't see anything and you get no outline but yeah, it's the same effect, look. The only difference with the invisible bedrock is I can punch through it. Because in my thinking, like, of the invisible bedrock, I think it's just like an air block, basically. So you've got to think of it like that. Like, you can actually see the block. You can, you know, you can punch through it. You can acti activate through it and stuff, like chests, for example, villages. But yeah, you get the idea. So again, this similar sort of thing works with lava. Um, you can actually catch yourself on fire sometimes when you get into some of the corners. I did it before. It's not working. Ah. I think it does in this one as well. No. Nope. But anyway, you get the idea. So you could do some cool optical illusions. But sadly, you can't do ones like this, unlike you can with the barrier block. Now, you can actually see what is behind a painting now, if you want, by using these barrier blocks. I mean, you could do it with glass, but you can see crystal clear now. And yeah, you can make some weird wacky things. That is the worst example ever, but you get the idea. You could make some crazy things. Okay. Obviously, these blocks are used for, you know, protection of certain areas on your maps and stuff. But I like to use them, and a lot of people do, for villagers. Um, this just stops them coming out, and it looks awesome. You know, you can... I mean, I haven't made this look great, but it looks, it looks awesome. As in, like... You know, it looks neat. They're just there. How? Why are they not moving? Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I can still interact with him. He's just got a barrier right in front of him. Same sort of thing here with invisible bedrock. He can't get out, look, but I can still interact with him. This is where the invisible bedrock gets better because, yes, I can't get into this guy. But like what I showed you at the start with a chicken, I can still interact with this villager even though there's barriers in front of him. But I can't get in there. But this is the downside to this part, is whereas the barriers are there, I can't actually grab that armor. Look, I'm clicking, as you can hear. <laughs> I can't grab it, but with the invisible bed rot, I can. So, I mean, it has its ups and its downs, okay? So use it wisely. And the way you get these is, well, basically with the new barrier on the 1.6 update, you can just give it to you fire commands okay but the actual invisible bedrock you need a modding program i use universal minecraft editor i'll have a download link for that in the description of the video but i imagine you can use block launcher is it for the android and stuff but yeah they're just both in there look like that and now you can use these uh blocks to make you know like invisible bridges okay and i am just gonna do kill at e uh, no, I'm not actually because I've got something else to show you before I do that. Um, but yeah, you can use these to get, you know, to make like crazy, again, optical illusions sort of thing. Um, you know, if I was playing survival, I wouldn't try walking across that, would you? I mean, you probably could just jump for it, but you, you get my idea. But this is where it gets a bit stupid. I don't know if this is a bug or not, but the barrier block, yeah, they're there. And the lava's under it, but you can't see it when they're in there. So it's almost like they're not actually transparent, which is quite strange. Um, 
I'm guessing that's a bug. I don't really know. Um, but this makes this pretty interesting. The same sort of thing with water, okay? But look at this, guys. You can have fish swimming in no water. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool, right? I mean, it's a shame, again, you get the outline. But yeah, you could have a waterless fish tank, if you like, on your, on your floor. <laughs> anyway, I will just show you, though. This only happens when it's one block below the barrier, okay? So, for example, here, it's absolutely fine. Yes, there are barriers, look. And you can still see the water. Whoops, I placed one down there. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay. And then lastly, barrier blocks are technically a block. So this makes you think, okay, uh, will they protect me from, you know, arrows and stuff? Can mobs see through them? Wow. This is your little hint there for you. Yes, it will protect you from arrows, guys. And I don't think mobs can see you through them. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, they're basically like an, in, an unbreakable glass block, if you like. <laughs> but whereas the invisible bedrock, on the other hand, yeah, I would be dead. Well, I would only lose two hearts of health, but, you know, you get the idea. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, that's pretty much it, to be fair. I mean, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section. But... Hopefully that helps you guys and makes you understand they're completely two different things, okay? But which is better? That's the question. It's up to you. <laughs> I guess it's like the certain circan... Uh, certain circan... I can't even say that. You know what I mean. A certain time <laughs> to use. Like, Jesus, I can't get my words out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there because obviously I'm just an idiot. Anyway... <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. 